Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Sun. If you're new here, thanks for hanging out with me today. I am returning with another Aritzia try on haul. This haul is just very special to me because I feel like I grab a lot of pieces that I have been dying to try. I dabbled in some trendy pieces, but also timeless and capsule wardrobe-esque pieces as well. I have a total of six items to show you. I know that's actually not as many items as my typical Aritzia hauls tend to be, but regardless, I wanted to share all of these pieces with you guys because I am dying to wear these in the fall. Before I jump into the video, I wanted to just let you guys know in the description, I always include my measurements for reference in case that's helpful for you to decide on your size. And I also include all the links and colors and sizes that I picked up for this haul. So everything that you might want to know about any of these pieces are in the description. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. I have two Two denim pieces to show you and I think these are probably I don't know I have so many good things here that I can't really pick a favorite but I am very very excited to wear these two denim pieces this season oh my gosh look how beautiful this is <laughs> I know you guys are probably familiar with Agoldi if you shop from Aritzia because they do sell a lot of Agoldi pieces on their website and in the store. I personally feel like everyone knows Agoldi by their denim jeans or denim pants. So I was pretty shocked when I saw this in person in my Aritzia store. And I immediately was like, oh my gosh, I need that in my life. This is the perfect denim slash a little bit of a trucker style denim denim jacket. I've been eyeing something like this from Levi's as well, but I am so glad that I held off and waited because I ran into this and I like this one so much more. Well, based on just looking at it, I haven't tried the Levi's ones. I love Levi's by the way. They are one of my favorite denim brands, but something about this particular denim jacket is just calling my name. It is the perfect slouchy and relaxed denim jacket. I own a denim jacket actually from Madewell and I actually never wear that anymore. I think I'm actually going to put it on my Poshmark for someone else to buy because it is a little bit more form-fitting and I realized that for my top like jackets I do tend to lean more towards that loose relaxed fit. I got it in a size extra small Which is my typical size at Aritzia. This is like the first time I've ever bought an a goldie jacket So I just wanted to show you guys the uh, the size on me this fits like a true oversized jacket, but it's not overwhelming or too large on me, if that makes any sense. I wouldn't size up or down. I really think that you should probably get your true size. Just look at it, how it fits me, and see for yourself. I also love the wash of this. I'm obsessed with the silhouette, and this is going to be my go-to jacket. I already know it when the weather gets a little bit chillier. Love this one. Okay, let's move on because I feel like I dwelled on that for way too long. This one also, oh my gosh, you guys. I have been dying to try out the trend of that midi to maxi denim skirt with the slit in the front. I feel like everyone and anyone on Instagram has a photo of themselves in that style of skirt. And I've been wanting to style it for myself for a very long time, but every time I find a brand that has this type of skirt, it's been sold out for months and months and months. So I just have never gotten my hands on it until now. I can't believe that Denim Forum from Aritzia came out with this style and I'm so excited to style it for the fall. They also come in two other denim like type of washes in the blue scale and then they have a black one which I am actually eyeing. It's in my cart because of how much I love this one. This has that middle split so that you can walk freely. If you don't see a slit in the skirt when it's a midi to maxi and it's not flowy it's pretty uncomfortable for you to walk you're kind of walking like on stilts almost that's how i feel anyway this one obviously has the slit so it's very comfortable to walk in and it is the perfect midi length on me i love this wash it is a perfect like uh, medium wash denim the back is just very simple i got this in a size 24w which is my typical 
a goldy size and I believe denim forum size as well because I did try on a different jean from denim forum before and I was also a 24 in that so I would stick with your true denim forum size and it translate well to the a goldy size as well if you know your size in that I think this is so flattering and with a chunky sweater tucked in with high knee, knee high boots I think this is going to look so so good this sweater has been a long time coming as well. I've been looking for the perfect oversized striped sweater for almost a year and a half now. This is so good. It is like that white ivory color with really dark navy stripes. I am very particular with stripes. I'm not a huge fan of knit sweaters where the stripes are too thin but I also don't want them to be too thick. So it has to be like the, the perfect width <laughs> for the stripes and the color of the stripes also matter. I did not want it to be black. I did want it to be navy specifically and I didn't want it to be against a stark bright white and this is an ivory. So it is like so perfect and I love the detail at the bottom where the ivory like panel at the bottom is thicker so it gives a little bit more texture and uniqueness to it and has like navy at the very edge it looks huge but i mean it is supposed to fit oversized so i got it in my normal typical size of extra small a lot of the time i will size up in sweaters because i tend to like them better when they're looser on me it's chunkier and cozier you know but this one definitely do not size up it is big and the fit is a true oversized fit. If you want it to fit a little closer to your body, I would recommend sizing down from your original size. I think my hunt is over now. I don't think I need to buy any more striped sweaters because I have this one. It's just perfection and the knit is such good quality. It is thick and substantial. I think it'll definitely keep you warm in the colder season. Oh, and I love the neckline because it is a true crew neck style. This one is kind of an odd one. I'm kind of on the fence about it. I'm not sure. I mean, obviously this is such a timeless piece. I think I will definitely love it if I decide to keep it. It's kind of like a satin silky blouse and it's in black obviously you can tell oh i believe this is called a sail shirt and i have tons of sail shirts in different colors from maritzia and i just wanted to try this satin material version of the sail shirt and i really do like it i just don't know if this black is a flattering black color on me you know how different blacks have different tones this definitely leans a little bit more cooler and I tend to look better with warmer toned blacks if that makes any sense. I know black just looks black, <laughs> but there are different hues I feel like in the color black. Or is black even a color? Let's not get into that. I'm gonna see the footage back and see if I like it on myself on camera and decide then. But obviously I have this sale shirt in multiple different colors and different fabrics and I love it. I love the fit of it. It is the perfect thing to just put over yourself when you get a little chilly. It's just like the most versatile type of clothing. I just don't know if this color is well suited for my skin tone perhaps, but I definitely recommend it. It feels very good quality. Maybe I should exchange this for like an ivory color because they did have an ivory and I was looking at that one too but I just wanted to pick up one before I commit to both colors, you know? Last but not least, I have two sweatpants to show you and they are both that cargo inspired style and I love it. It's so good. I got this, I believe this is in the color espresso. I might be wrong but I will link and post all that information in the description. But look how cute this is. <laughs> I know this is very trendy right now, like the cargo pant is like all over the place, but I definitely wanted to try this. It is their cozy fleece lined mega fit sweatpant in extra small. I tend to stick with an extra small with these sweatpants. With all Aritzia sweatpants, I tend to do that. And I got it in the short length of this sweatpants. So it doesn't drag on the floor because I do feel I feel like Aritzia's pant style bottoms tend to drag on the floor for me. I'm only 5'2", 5'3", so I'm pretty short. 
and if I get the full length, it just is too long. The short length fits me perfect. It doesn't drag and I love it. It is so thick and just cozy. Oh, this is going to keep me so warm in the winter. They have like these pockets. They're actually functional, like it's an actual pocket. Two pockets in the butt area as well. And yeah, slit just regular pockets on the sides. It has a drawstring cord so that you can tighten the waist if you need to. On that topic, this is basically the same style but in like a jogger scrunched up ankle version of that. This is called... Oh, this is actually a little bit different. This is by the group Babaton. It's slightly different because it still has that drawstring cord, but it's actually at the front instead of on the inner side of the seam. It has that cargo style uh, as well with the pockets and they're functional. These pockets are actually zippered so you can put like your keys and zip them up and it won't fly out of your pocket. Also, this is not actually fleece line this is terry cloth on the inside so it's a little bit less bulky less hot at the ends of the ankle you can see that it's more of like a jogger style so i got it an extra small like i said and this is actually the regular length and i would not get a petite slash short length of this if you are around my height. I feel like I've tried other joggers from Aritzia, like jogger style sweatpants, and when I get the petite, they sit at a really weird, awkward ankle length on me, and I don't like that. I do want it to still be the length of my full leg, you know? I don't like how they sit slightly higher than my ankles when I want them to really sit at the bottom. So I just tend to go for the full regular length when I have these types of pants from Aritzia and they work out better for me. I think if you truly are under 5'2", then I would get the petite short version length of this. This is so cute though. I cannot wait to wear this. This is such a cool chic style. Even with like just this tank top, having this on would look like such a cool vibe, like street style moment, you know? And that is everything. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to subscribe if you like this type of content. I do a lot of try on hauls, vlogs, reviews. I post every single week and I also post a lot on my Instagram so go ahead and check me out over there. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to stick around and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye!